What is up all my geeks and gamers, TechGeek1019 here, coming at you with another Forge modding tutorial. Now I know it's been a while since the last modding tutorial, but that's because I've been reading your guys' suggestions on that one video, and I finally found one that I actually can do. Um, all the other ones I'm still kind of learning how to do, especially Dimensions, um, so possibly look forward to that later. Dimensions has a lot of parts, so it's kind of hard. Um, also same with potions, but the one suggestion that I could do was adding effects to a player when they hold a tool or wear a certain type of armor. So I decided that today that's what I'm going to do. So it's actually very simple. So if we look into our sword class, oh, and I also just wanted to mention, I have a new keyboard. It's the Razer Chroma, so it might be kind of clicky. Um, so if you, if you hear that, don't worry about it. Uh, tell me if you, uh, if it sounds bad or anything, because I'll change back to the other keyboard. Like, it doesn't really matter. It's not a big deal. Um, so just let me know in the comments what you think. And, uh, oh, hello. Uh. Okay. Let's not do that. Um, so once again, let me know. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay. So if we go into our sword class, so say we want to make the player um, get a potion effect when they hold a sword. Say, if they hold our sword, they get strength. How about that? Okay. So if we go down here to the bottom of our sword class, we're going to uh, override a method. And this method is going to be a public void on update and this is going to have a few parameters it's going to have an item stack which we're going to call stack and then it's also going to have the world as well as an entity and an integer which is just parameter four and a boolean which is just parameter five okay so if we get into this method, first of all, let's import everything. Uh, that's going to be net.minecraft.entity.entity. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have we're going to super uh, on update, and this is going to be stack world entity par four and par five, and then we're going to have our squiggly bracket, and in this squiggly bracket, we're going to set the entity player as as player, uh, and that's going to equal the entity player known as entity. Oh, no, I was looking at the wrong thing. No brackets. Okay, so we're going to import entity player. So this is, so we're setting basically that the entity uh, is going to be a player and it's going to be the same as entity which the entity we are setting is a player um, so then we're going to set item stack equipped I forgot the e equipped and this is going to equal player dot get current equipped item and basically what this is doing is it's checking we're setting a new thing uh, that's equipped and it checks if the pl what the player has in their hand um, so that's why now we're gonna do if the equipped is in fact an a stack which is an item stack which the stack is this so get current equipped item is checking for item sword our sword sword sapphire is what it's checking for so we're going to return so if the equipped item is this sword then the player dot add potion effect so we're going to add a potion effect and it's going to be a new potion effect and it's going to be made from potion dot damage boost which is strength so we're adding strength here and the next parameter after that is how long it is so we're just gonna put five seconds which is a hundred ticks and the next thing is the strength that the effect is so like strength one two three and it's always one below 
the number that you put in is always one below what the actual effect level is. So if I put two, it'll be strength three. If it's if I put one, it'll be strength two. So let's just put a two and we'll have it give us the effect of strength three. So we just import this potion effect. I think I forgot a um a bracket <clears throat> somewhere. Oh, I forgot the get ID right here. That is supposed to have a get ID, and that is supposed to be out here. Oh, one thing. Uh, that one. There we go. So, if we hop into our game, let's hop into our game real quick. Here we are. And we just jump in. Let's grab our sword here. This guy, it already has 50 attack damage, so we probably want to lower that. But as you can see, it gives us strength 3 on our sword. So there you go. Let's actually, just for the sake of things, lower our, uh, our damage here. And uh, I think that's in the sapphire items, I believe it is, because it is something else. Sword sapphire. Instead of 50, let's just make it, um, so we'll make it less attack than diamond sword, but it gives you strength 3, so we'll give it 6. But that's not what we're concerned about right now. So the next thing I'm going to teach you guys is something that you guys also asked about, and basically it's how do you make it so that uh, how do you make it so that when you wear all of one type of armor, it gives you effect, but only when you have all the armor on it? Now, I don't really need this here, I don't think, because we had that, uh, our server tick handler, and we have this. So we don't need this part anymore, I don't think. I don't even know why I put this here. Do I need it? I might need it. So let's just leave it. Anyway. So below this, below this right here, we are going to have another on armor tick. So public, so we're going to override. Um, public void on armor tick. Actually, we probably should get rid of this because it's already being used. Let's check what happens. World, world, entity player, player. Actually, we do want to get rid of this. And the reason is because we're going to have it so that everything does it. We don't just want it when you have the boots. So I'll probably add that back later. But, <clears throat> excuse me. For now, we're going to have an item stack, and it's going to be stack. And we're going to have our brackets. And so we're just going to jump right into it. And it's basically going to be if the player dot get current armor, this is the armor that he's wearing, zero, which is a helmet, does not does not equal null. And we're gonna have two ands, and the player dot get current oops, it's all, I accidentally hit caps, it seems. That's null. And player dot get current armor one does not equal null. And we're gonna do this until three, so I'll just copy paste. And it's this. Cop oh shoot. It's this this part right here. We're gonna go copy and we're going to space paste space paste. And we're going to have two and three. Okay. I believe one is helmet, two is leggings, three is chest plate, but I'm not exactly sure about that. Um, but we'll see later. Let me see if I can find it, actually. Inventory armor in uh, item in slot. I don't exactly know which slots are which, to be honest. Whatever. Okay, so if all of these don't equal null, and then we're going to have an item stack boots 
equals player dot get current armor zero and we're gonna just copy this over because it's going to be the same for all the other ones oh what am i saying i know which ones they are they're right below here this is legs chest helmet so there you go and then these numbers go one two three and that's what we have there then we're going to write uh, another if statement if boots dot get item which this is getting the boots uh, equals equals public oh not public this is a different mod sapphire boots I think it is oh no sapphire items dot boots sapphire uh, and and this is also we're going to copy this over because this is going to be that that oops and that there are those we're going to have boots now we're going to have legs then we're going to have oops actually we also have to change this boots dot get item this is going to be um legs i think i called it dot get item yeah this is going to be and chest dot get item equals the chest god dang it keep messing that up seriously um chest as well as helmet dot get items equals this is going to be helmet. What's this? It's chest plate. Oops. Okay. No matter. At the end of this, we're going to have curly brackets, and it's going to return. Let's add an effect. This is where the effect is going to go. Dot add potion effect. Uh, new potion effect. We're going to do, let's think, let me think, let me think. What do we want on this? We want, let's give us resistance. How about that? Potion dot resistance dot get ID. And then once again, <clears throat> the tick, 100, and the strength. We're going to give it resistance 2. Let's add another one, shall we? Player dot add potion effect, new potion effect. We're going to do, let's give us some, uh, some region. How about that? Uh, potion dot. Um, regeneration dot get ID it is going to be for a hundred ticks as always and the strength is going to be region one just so it's not that OP and you know what we need a negative effect to balance out all of these big buffs that we have here you know so we're going to add uh, slowness okay move slow down dot get id and this is going to be once again 100 and we're going to give this slowness one so there we go let's hop into our world and check this baby out So as you can see, if we hop in here, take that baby out of our hand, go into our tab here, we grab every single block of our armor. If we put on the helmet, nothing happens. We get no effects. Chest plate, nothing. That, look at that. Boom. We put everything on and it gives us the resistance to the regen and the slowness. So now we're 
We're sort of slow. Not that bad. But we're a little slow. But you know what? It's worth it because we have regen and resistance, which means we'll take a hit. And if we do take a hit, we'll just regen it right back. So that's pretty much going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if this helped you guys. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and look forward to more tutorials in the future. The year is almost over. Next year, I vow to try to make more videos. Maybe one every other day, maybe even one every day. I'll try to do it. We'll see how that goes. But once again, hit that like button if this helped you. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.